Hi, my name's Ellen and I'm the Interpretation Manager at the MAC, and today for our behind the scenes video we are looking back at the Spokane Symphony Anniversary Exhibition, Music Finds a Way. And today we are talking with Valerie Wall, our Collections Curator, who will share with us a bit of the puzzle that the Collections team got to put together to help tell the story of this object. My name is Val. Uh, I've worked here at the MAC in Collections for a good many years. And starting out um, way back in the late 90s when we had to pack up the collection, move it off site while they were doing the renovation here at the museum. And um, I remember seeing this old, kind of crappy old violin and not really thinking that much of it. But over time, I heard people referring, it to, as, referring to it as the Civil War violin. And come to find out, it's associated with an actual person with a name. His name is John Jefferson Kaiser. And John Jefferson Kaiser was the last remaining surviving Civil War veteran in Spokane County. He died in the 40s, and he was 101 years old, if I remember correctly. Um, so that makes it a little more colorful and interesting. But as we were putting together this exhibit about the symphony and telling some music stories, we did a little deeper diving and um, uh, poking around in, in the archives, and we actually found a picture of John Jefferson Kaiser. He looks very much like a character, and he really made this, um, this instrument come alive for me as it has slowly unfolded over time. Now to have not just a name, but a face with the homemade violin and a picture of his house, it really made it come alive for me. 